So for this week in recap, I'm going to start off with Tie the Knot. A lot of ghosting happened in episode 5, which I get, but also Briggs knew Shao was getting married, so he was, like, warned about being friends with him. Episode 6 was a lot of questionable decisions made by Shao, and Briggs is going to get more hurt than anybody before it gets better. But I love Georgia with Wilson, and I highly recommend people use, uh, watching this show. Monato's Laundry second season started off super cute. I liked that it picked up not too far after where season one ended. Monato is still as dramatic as ever, and Shin is still very much in pursuit of Monato, but this time in a more intimate way. And you can insert all the game panic you want there. I'm not really sure about Asaka being upset about his relationship with Shun. Shun hasn't changed, and Asaka knew the type of person he was before, but like, I don't know. It's a super cute start, though. Stay By My Side started this weekend, and uh, the first episode was your typical antagonistic beginning with tension, but it's definitely not bad. Um, The second episode was really good, and like the roommates were trying to irritate each other enough, and it was really, really funny. And then um, the man ate chips off the other's chest. It was random, but it was kind of the best thing ever. Um, But then like a turn of events, his sister messed up, and then now he can hear ghosts, so that's fun. When I say that I was super excited for The Hidden Agenda, it's like a supreme understatement. I absolutely loved this. June and Dunk came with another level with acting in this show, and it's perfection. I like that Joke's relatively honest with Zoe the whole entire time, and they addressed a trope in episode one that normally takes most shows at least half the time to address. Um, And that's the why one character seemed to be mad at the other one, like way back when. I love this so much. Joke is my favorite, and June, of course. I posted a recap on this already. So many of my thoughts for next, this is most of my thoughts for next week. I need Ren to tell Kasuma what happened and why he left. I And I also need to know how much more of a slime ball is the slime ball manager. Like, I don't like the pain and sadness that I feel is coming, but I'm also kind of living for it. This show is so good. I've posted so many videos about this show in this episode, but basically I just love the show. I love that things aren't linear. Fixing one thing doesn't mean everything is fixed or will stay that way. And you can have good intentions and unintentionally be selfish where it hurts others. It is so, so good. And I hope more people will watch this show.